What's going on guys, Phantasm Mask here, bringing you some Resident Evil 6 Mercenaries mode, Urban Chaos. I'm playing online with somebody, and the purpose of this video is to talk a little bit about Mercenaries. Um, lately with Mercenaries, I've, it's been running very smoothly, but it turns out today I've been getting a lot of communication errors and things like that. Apparently, uh, it's not exactly the most online it's not exactly the most stable online mode going on right now and this is affecting all across the board whether it be co-op or agent hunt or any of the online modes really are being affected by this uh, it took me about 30 minutes to get into this match and that's without dealing with the hassling menu system that Resident Evil 6 already has but enough about that a couple of tips that I want to give everybody for Resident Evil 6 Mercenaries, because I've played several matches with this, um, especially for Urban Chaos. Urban Chaos uses the zombie enemy set instead of the Juavo, and I think that's uh, a little bit easier considering that the Juavo are able to use uh, normal weapons like uh, a sniper rifle or even machine pistols and assault rifles. Um, some of the zombies on this map can do that too, but it's it's mostly a blind fire kind of thing. It's very basic shoot in a straight line. They won't follow you or anything like that. So I guess just kind of watch out for stuff like that. Probably the most annoying part about playing against the zombie set are when you encounter zombies that have magnums because these things, if they manage to get a shot into you, will drop you really fast. It will take out an entire block of your health. And another thing about urban chaos. Most of the timers are in the side shops and it's probably for, like all the past mercenaries modes to collect all of the timers before you start going in for your big chain combo. And unlike the past mercenaries mode, this one really has a lot more of a reward for keeping that combo up. Uh, scores are even better. Um, you get special medals at the end of it. And also I think, I don't know, no, they don't really give out any special skill points for completing Mercenaries. Another addition that they've added from uh, Resident, for the difference between RE5 and RE6, is that they've given you a enemy counter for when you hit 150 enemies, you'll be able to finish the mode, and that's how you can tell that the mode is complete. Personally, I would like to see some variants of uh, enemy type, like, uh, maybe add some modes to mercenaries where you can kill more than 150 enemies because I feel that sometimes it goes by really fast um, but even getting to 150 on some occasions especially with randoms like who I'm playing with right now you'll probably see a little bit later can be very difficult in itself and that was an awesome double kill that was completely unintentional with dropping that zombie on top of that dog which amazing. Sometimes, sometimes little happy accidents go into this mode. Like uh, there was a time where I took a pipe from a zombie that was about to swing it at me, and I managed to not only knock his head off, but two other zombies' head off, heads off for a 15-second bonus to the time. So instead of playing this, like I know a lot of players will try to play, it like kind of like a horde mode or something like that. It's not so much a defensive playing mode. There are some situations where you will have to go on the defense. There are certain enemy types that you just can't blitzkrieg that easily. Uh, like, for example, the fat zombies, which will charge you. Um, they're not exactly a good thing to just go all out blitzkrieg on. And with that being said, you want to kill, kill, and kill even more. And never underestimate the power of melee attacks and environmental hazards. For example, the zombies that I'm shooting right now all have these oxygen tanks on their back. Shoot it, especially if they're in a crowd with other ones. It'll blow all of them up. Simple as that. Other environmental hazards, such as oil drums, which are not new to mercenaries mode at all. Sometimes you'll see those pop up and... If you can manage to get some boss enemies around it and shoot it, it would greatly uh, save ammo and time. So, another pain with the zombie set are the armored zombies, the ones that are all wearing bulletproof vests and things like that. Very difficult to shoot them in the head and to consecutively shoot them in the head, which is why it's best to go in for melee attacks, which segues into my next point. 
Melee attacks are the best thing about this. It used to be the old formula was you shot an enemy in the face, you go up and kick their head off, you get a time bonus. Now since you can melee at will and chain all of these different melee combos, I find that it's, uh, it's really going to become a more utilized mechanic to Mercenaries mode. I really do like how I can get these massive melee chains going, and there are some characters in Mercenaries which are not the best melee fighters. And then there are some which are more balanced, and then you have people like Jake, who can almost continuously chain melee combos and just completely devastate enemies. And this is where a perfect example of how to play this defensively. You kind of want to back up a little bit against him, because if he gets towards you, chances are you're going to get hit, knocked over, and then things go bad. And this random really wasn't that good of a partner. He, I, I, I have a feeling that he really hasn't played too many matches. I don't want to hate on him or anything like that. don't really hate on inexperienced players. You know, everybody's got to learn somehow. But... He was doing some very questionable things. Um, he really wasn't um, communicating very well, um, which even if you don't have a headset for this game, there's a communication system, and I really wish that more people would use it. If you need help, call for help. If you need a certain target taken out, designate the target. I mean, the communication system's there for a reason. Also... When there is a certain enemy type on Urban Chaos that I absolutely despise, it's probably it's ridiculously overpowered. Um, I can't believe that they put so many of them in at once on Mercenaries mode, um, and that's the uh, I believe they're called Bloodshots. I'm not exactly sure what the proper name for them are, but uh, you'll see them. They're zombies that have no skin. They like to sidestep a lot, and they do all these random dives, uh, really, and th there's so many of them, and you cannot block any of their attacks. Very difficult to do, and let's see, what other tips can I give out? Also, going back to the time bonuses, this is very important and a big change from RE5 to RE6. Time bonuses can be shot now. So if you're out in the distance, you can you can still shoot them. I and that applies especially to this map because there is a combo bonus off on the blocked off street that you can't really see. I don't even think I activated in this match. But you can shoot these now. So if you're really desperate on time and you don't think you're going to be able to reach the timer in time, shoot it if you can. Um, sighting in this game is not exactly... You, you don't have the most steady of hands in this game. And these are the blood shots. This is what I'm talking about. Their attack is unblockable, automatically take out one of the... Um, they automatically take out a block of health. Um, they're just a real pain to deal with, even more so than some boss enemies. And here I pick up, uh, pick up the random partner again, because he really needs help. I'm actually surprised he didn't die right there because of all of the blood shots and a nice fire extinguisher. I don't remember actually getting that. But yeah, you can blow up fire extinguishers that some enemies would be holding to. Also counterattacks, and I've really had a bit of a problem with counterattacks in this game. Counterattacks are it's the game doesn't designate what is a counterattack and what isn't. If you if you're going in to melee somebody and they just so happen to be swinging an object around you, you'll do this melee, you'll do this counterattack. But it's not easy to chain them. Like uh, there's a certain trophy or achievement which wants you to chain it three times in a row. It's extremely unpredictable on how you're supposed to do that. And I think that's something that Capcom need to fix with the game. Um, also, probably improve the matchmaking system a little bit. Uh, matchmaking in this game is not exactly the easiest of systems to use. Um, not because of the communication errors that are currently going on, but every time uh, you try to search for a match or anything like that, or if you get disconnected from a match, it takes you all the way ba back out to the special features menu. And that's that's not really good, because I didn't want to back... If I wanted to back out, I'd back out. And here I try to shoot what I think is a time bonus off out in the distance of the map, but I'm using two handguns, so I don't really think that uh, it works too well. 
And I did not complete this match because the AI partner wound up getting uh, his guts ripped out by a Chinese zombie. So those are some tips for RE6's Mercenaries mode. This has been Phantasm Mask, signing off.